Well, the idea of Ploring and I creating a clown theatre company together has been in the making for years. We just didn't manage to find a line of work to follow through and we were living quite far away from each other so it was kept on hold for a long time. The only thing it was clear was the name, Ministry of Clown. Yes, we clearly wanted to work together. But yeah, Ministry of Clown had been in the works for a while and me and Ricardo had spoken. We knew we wanted the company to be predominantly clown, but a bridge between British and Spanish theatre. Sort of a love letter to both. Because Ricardo is obviously Spanish um, and I'm very English, but I grew up in Spain. We wanted to create a synergy of uh, Spanish and British theatre. And that's basically what inspired us to apply to be a part of Festilof. Um, originally before the pandemic happened. We just thought that would be a great launch pad to produce a piece of theatre that had been derived from a Spanish text. Um, we also knew pretty early on that we wanted to base it on Cervantes um, because we don't think he's spoken about enough in, in British drama schools. Where, where's Cervantes? And talking of the play, it was really interesting because I did not know the original Spanish play before. So it was really nice to broaden my knowledge, obviously, slightly of theatre from other cultures. We were honestly so honoured to be picked first time round to take part of Festival Off. We couldn't, we could not believe it. When we got chosen as finalists, we were over the moon. Like that was a huge deal to us, being able to start off in a really great theatre festival in an avenue of theatre that we wanted to make. It was so great to bring together a group of creatives and make some art in lockdown. I have to say that I'm very proud of how stupid my friends are and how we've all managed to remain really stupid throughout the whole process. When I tell people that I've been working with a company called Ministry of Clown, they always say, oh, that sounds really fun, you must have such a laugh. But the reality is that we're a very serious company with very serious actors making very serious work. What? Is that better? It's been nice to connect with other creators no matter how far away, um, especially during a lockdown, having this, this play to return to every week. Yeah, yeah. It's been a bit of light in this dark time. A hundred percent. And I think it's just amazing, you know, that we'll be able to look back on this in a few years time and we'll have like a time capsule of the period we spent in lockdown in digital form for this show um, and be like, this is what we've done and we can look back and see how we've evolved since then. Really, really cool, really cool. And we hope that we'll get to develop this show on stage to a live audience at some point. That would also be incredible. So yeah, Ministry of Clown is so thrilled and thankful to be part of Festiloth. Um, we can't begin to thank them enough for asking us to be a part of the festival and we can't wait for everyone to watch our show The Divorce Court Judge which has definitely been an absolute labour of love. So tune in to Festiloth from the 23rd of April um, to watch Ministry of Clowns, The Divorce Court Judge as well as four other awesome shows. Can't wait to see you there, can't wait to hear what you think. <laughs> Our baby is now yours. Enjoy, enjoy.